Let's do that. Do I need an i7 or an i9 to play video games? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, stop, stop. Do not focus on i7 or i9. What you need to focus on is the numbers that come after that. For example, all three of these processors are i7s or i9s, but they're from three different generations, so they're three different socket shapes. If you were to buy a PC that just says, oh, and it's got an i7, huh? it could have 14700K, or it could have a 4770K. Both are i7s, but they are 10 generations apart. If you did buy a machine that had an i7 and you got something like a fourth gen Intel in there, well, you have no upgrade path on that motherboard. You're going to have to upgrade a lot of pieces and it's just not the same. This also applies to AMD chips and it's just a overall reminder to check the number after that initial number and look up things like clock speeds, core counts, to make sure that you're getting what you need for gaming. There are i5s from this generation that are plenty for gaming and also no, eat no, broccoli. No, no, no. I want you to live a good life. <laughs>